Hi, welcome to ClickMeProject.com. Our project title is Employee Management System. Abstract. The Employee Management System has been developed to override the problems prevailing in the practicing manual system. The software is supported to eliminate and in some cases reduce the hardships faced by this existing system. Moreover, the system is designed for the particular need of the company to carry out the operations in a smooth and effective manner. The application is reduced as much as possible to avoid errors while entering the data. It also provides error message while entering invalid data. No formal knowledge is needed for the user to use the system. Thus, by this, all it proves it is user friendly. Let's see the data flow diagram of our project. It starts with registration and login, and the user is valid. They can enter they can enter the service otherwise they can exit then it has uh, the modules it has some modules that is uh, adding employee shift schedule attendance leave type and uh, leave letter providing and payroll calculation let's see the demo of our project when we have started to run our project it shows a home page Here we have to click the next button. It shows a registration page. Here first we have to click the ID button. Generate the unique ID for the employee. And first we have to give the employee name. Then next we have to give the password. Then re-enter the password for the verification. And give the date of birth. then select the gender and give the date of joining then choose the department then click the play button shows the details added successfully message box and click the ok button next we have to clear the all details for the next employee and uh, we have to click the cancel button it shows the login page here we have to first give the username from the register register details and give the password from the register details and click the login button it shows login successfully message box and it, uh, it, it brings us to the view page of the employee details and click the view button it shows the all employee details in the grid view and click the next button and so the employee experience details page here we have to give the employee experience details choose the employee number give the employee name from the registered details and uh, give the organization name give the duration and give the year Then give. Then we have to click the add button. These details has been added successfully, and uh, clear the details for the next employee. And click the next button. It shows the employee shift schedule page. Here we have to schedule the all employee for the shift. Then we have to give the shift code, and we have to choose the schedule type, and give the date. and give the rotation period and click the add button it, this details has been added successfully and click the clear button this details has been cleared and click the next button select the employee code J gives the employee name and shift code and the uh, employee depart it gives the employee name, a shift code and the employee department automatically and click the date and time. Choose the current date and time and absent days for 
and click the in time and uh, click the out time it give the current uh, time it give the current uh, time it give the current time and click the add button this detail has been saved then you have to click the next button it shows the employee attendance page here first we have to select the employee code it shows the employee name and give the leave type then choose the units and the entitlement unit two days tuesday to thursday and see the rule and uh, select the any option and click the add button if you have to choose the no button leave not uh, permitted and click the next button here apply the leave for the employee here we have to choose the employee code application status weeks and leave type personal leave number of days two and you click the apply button the application is applied for the leave and click the next button it shows the payroll calculation first we have to select the employee code and uh, choose the employee name automatically and uh, give the pay basic pay then we have to give the HR then IT TA and PF and give the DA then click the total button and here also we have to click the total button and we have to find out the cross salary and we have to find out the net salary and click the apply button these details has been saved and click the next button it it shows the basic pay details of all employee our project is over thank you for watching